What's up guys, welcome to your sixth tutorial in Flash. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys about layers. Now what layers are is a way to better organize your pieces of your animation. So if you had a huge animation with a bunch of different images on it, you might want to organize them into layers. And today I'm going to teach you how to do that. As you can see, we have one layer right now and that's what we've been working with before. So let's go ahead and create a simple animation. I'll make it a just a red rectangle and I'm just going to make it move green by using a shape tween. As you can see we have this red rectangle moving from left to right with the use of a shape tween. Now if we wanted another object say to move from the right hand of the screen to the left side making this in the same layer would be a pain in the butt so here's what you would do right click layer number one and click insert layer as you can see on your timeline it automatically inserts a new layer now go ahead and click the first keyframe for layer number two and let's insert another shape let's make a blue circle just so we got some contrast and you can see the difference. So in this layer we're gonna want to make another screen and let's insert a keyframe in the 30th frame and let's move this object to the screen and of course we'll insert a basic shape tween. As you can see now when we play our image our layers now move in two different directions. Now this would be near, nearly impossible to do with one layer. And that's why when you have different pieces of your animation, you want to separate them into layers. Now, let's say you're working on layer number two, and you didn't want to see this red rectangle. You thought it was annoying or in the way or whatever. Here's what you can do. Under layer number one, which is this, you can always hide it. And there's an eye at the top that says show or hide layers. Just click the little dot until an X pops up right here, and your layer is now invisible. And anytime you want to pop it back up, just click the X again, and that reappears. Now, this lock right here is to lock layers. Say you're working on this or another layer, and you knew your if you kept it up you're going to accidentally erase it or something. To make sure you don't change it at all no matter what, click this. What this does is lock it and anytime you're editing it, this layer that you're, it's locked is not affected. You can apply this to as many layers as you want. Now anytime you're editing layers, any layer that has a lock on it is unaffected by the edits and you always can unlock it by clicking the lock. Now another thing I want to talk to you guys about is rearranging your layers. As you see when we clicked enter the blue circle moves over the red square or rectangle. This is because if you see right here in our timeline the blue layer number two which is a circle appears on top of layer number one. And this appears so that the red blue I mean the blue circle is appearing over the red rectangle. And if you want to change that, all you need to do is click layer. As you can see, layer number two is now under layer number one. And as you can see, when we play it in the timeline, the blue circle now appears under layer number one. And this is an easy way you can rearrange layers. And two other things I want to talk to you guys about is to delete a layer. Simply right click it and pick delete layer. To rename a layer, simply double click the name and you can rename it anything you want. And the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is when you have a bunch of layers. So let me just create a bunch of layers. Say you had 30 layers and your animation was huge. You probably want to put
organize them in a folder and that's what this little sim symbol is right next to the garbage can just click it and anything you want to put in your folder you can drop it in you can drop it in and as you can see you can contract or expand this by clicking the arrow sign this is how to organize a bunch of your layers in a folder now now that we learned how to use layers a couple of different things we can do to our layers and how to, how to organize them. We're going to be learning next about some pretty enhanced drawings and how to make some sweet graphics. So if you didn't actually catch everything I went over today, I'm going to be covering it all on my website thenewboston.com and I'll give you a written step-by-step -step instruction on everything we talked about so you can better follow along. Thank you.